So this is a common scenario for a VLOOKUP function. Here I've got some fake data, fake first names, last names, and scores, and I want to determine a grade. So I first thing I have to do is I have to construct my VLOOKUP lookup table. So I've got a grade scale here in my spreadsheet in this text box, and then I need to create this. Now the key is that this has to go in ascending order. So the values have to be from lowest to highest, otherwise our lookup is not going to work correctly. So I need to start uh, 0, 60, 62, 67, 70, 72, 77, 80, 82, 87, 90, and 92. Okay, so the grade here will be an E, 60 will be a D minus, then we've got a D, and just be careful here, Microsoft Excel tries to be helpful and find a pattern for you. I don't want that minus there. I've messed that up a few times in my life. So it's gonna do the same thing here when I type a C, it's gonna look up in that column and say, oh, you've already typed C minus before, that's probably what you want here. It's not what we want, so make sure that that autofill feature doesn't mess you up. B plus, A minus, and A, delete that, minus. Okay, so now we've got our lookup table. Let's calculate the grade. So I'm gonna say equals V lookup. So the lookup value is going to be this score. That's gonna be a relative reference. My table array, I'm going to select all the values in this lookup table, and then I'm going to push F4 to make all of those refer references absolute. Because no matter where I copy and paste my VLOOKUP function, I always want to refer to these cells in this specific range right here. So the column index number, this is the information that I want. So I know the score, I'm looking for the grade. So in this highlighted in red, this lookup table, the information that I'm looking for is the grade. That is going to be in the column two. So Excel kind of starts off numbering on the left with column one, then column two for, you know, continuing that pattern with as many columns as you have. So I'm gonna type a two there. Now the range lookup, so this is optional, but I highly recommend always specifying it just to be sure. So an approximate match. The values in the first column of table array must be sorted in ascending order. So make sure you read that and follow that. We want to use true because I'm I don't want an exact match. If I needed to use if I wanted to use an exact match, I would have to have a very, very big lookup table with every possible grade. So for example, Amelita earned a 64.5. In my lookup table, I would have to have 64.5, 64.6, 64.7, etc. I don't want to do that. I want an approximate match. Now, approximate doesn't mean just closest. It means the same value or under. So let's take a look at how that actually works. So we run this. A 64.5 is a D. So here's what Microsoft Excel is doing. It's saying, okay, look up 64.5 in this table. So it comes down, well, it's bigger than zero, so I'm gonna keep going. It's bigger than 60, I'm gonna keep going. It's bigger than 62, I'm gonna keep going. Oh, I'm less than 67, so I'm gonna go back up. The correct value for this function will be 62. It's a D, that's why a D gets filled in there. I'm gonna fill this down the entire column just by double clicking that fill handle. Uh, let's just take another example, like uh, let's take a look at this E for example. So TIFF scored 57.8, it's bigger than zero, but it's not uh, greater than or equal to 60. So Excel is gonna say, all right, we're gonna go back down, give this person an E. Uh, for Ermin, Ermin earned an A because 92 is greater than or equal to this value, so that'll be an A. So anything bigger is going to default to being an A. So if I said this score was 1,000, well, that's much bigger than an A, so that's good. 
What would happen if it was like negative 500? <laughs> well, our table starts at zero. 500 is not even in this range, so that gives us an error. But anything between zero and positive infinity will be a valid value for this lookup table. So just remember, approximate, if I have 61.99, remember this is visually is being rounded. I'm going to increase that decimal place. What if it's like 99999? Let's make our decimals even bigger. Okay, so it's important to understand that an approximate match just doesn't mean like whatever's closest. That's, I think Excel did a bad job naming approximate match because 61.999 is so close to a D, you know, just a fraction of a percent. But it's still going to count that as a D minus because it's less than this value. So it's important to understand how that V lookup function works. It's a very useful function for a lot of scenarios. I'm going to undo that. We'll revert some of those grades so that everything looks correct. But VLOOKUP function, very useful, but you got to know how to use it right.